YouTube. Why not yeah. have five ads at the beginning of a video? Why not? Seems cool to me. Because I'm already putting five ads in the video. That's going to make it ten. <laughs> I mean, you asked the question. <laughs> they, did say, they did say, a YouTube rep noted this may happen with bumper ads that don't exceed six seconds. Uh, and I mentioned earlier in this video something about pushing until people protest and then pushing again later. Uh, but anyways, um, people are seeing ads already, apparently, that are longer than ten seconds. So... That's cool. I've also seen a screenshot of 10 ads. I don't, maybe that was doctored. I don't know. Um, YouTube told PC Mag that this was part of a small experiment that showed users a bunch of ads at the beginning of a longer video rather than spacing them out. Oh. The spokesperson said the experiment is now concluded. Hmm. hmm. Okay. You know what the really funny thing is? One of the reactions in Floatplane chat was... Man, now I'm going to have to get premium. <sighs> oh, yeah. Okay. Apparently, it's not five. That's it's how you let five, them win. It's five to ten. Five to ten? Yeah. That is absolutely wild. Apparently, someone got ads on premium. That honestly straight up sounds like a bug. So tell me this. If I watch six ads before the video starts do i not have to sit through any mid rolls i think that's what they were saying it's a small it's a, it's a small experiment that shows a bunch of ads at the beginning of the video rather than spacing them out okay because but again there's that whole thing where you push a little bit then you can push more later on so like yeah we stack them all at the beginning because it's a long video and maybe if the creator wants they can enable throwing a big one in the middle too or something and then we keep going from there Apparently, um, someone had 10 unskippable ads on their video earlier today. That's a little much. That's I a actually, lot. man, I forgot how much uh, ads on YouTube drive me crazy because I, I allowed my credit card information to lapse in my Google hey, account. I did the same thing about, recently. About a week ago. Yeah. And I, I didn't even know that in YouTube music, it you, you can't. Like play a specific song in your song in your playlist. Like it, if you don't will, have a paid account, it will go to it eventually. Yeah, yeah. I was like, but it starts what? with other stuff. Yeah, uh, and then there's ads between each song. Yeah. Oh my! I've goodness. just stopped listening to music <laughs> entirely. I turned on the radio. <laughs> I didn't realize I had let it lapse, and then I was on a drive, and it started playing ads, and I was like, "What the heck?" And I figured what was going on, and I like looked at my dash really oddly, and like slowly press the like turn on fm radio button and i was like what wow it's <laughs> it's been a Hello, long time friend. do yeah. you still work yeah. <laughs> air wings air wings are you out there <laughs> air wings is this transmission still going on apparently it was so that was cool it was legitimately better than listening to google play music with ads so sounds good fantastic yeah um, discussion question. Is this the death of YouTube? And what happens to no. LCT if it is? No, it's not because Google will keep pushing to the brink. I mean, that's their game, right? Um, there already are five, six ads on some videos, particularly like, you know, 15, 20, 30 minute videos. If creators Sprinkle enable, if creators enable just algorithmically placed mid rolls, YouTube will serve you an ad as often as they think you'll tolerate. So one of the things I've noticed is that on my personal account, I actually get served fewer ads than I do on some of our corporate accounts. Oh, do you abandon? Because I will just abandon. I will, just, I will close the app when I get an ad. Um, and not because it's like, I'm, it's like some form of silent protest, but because I just no honestly was done pooping anyway. Wasn't worth it, yeah. And so I'll just leave. So my, my ad tolerance is extremely low. And they know, they know that. So they will serve based on what your tolerance is. Yikes. Yeah, but yeah. it's not the end of YouTube. No chance. Not even close. There's no just chance. there's nothing else like it. They also experiment and push and pull back and try different things. Like they're so huge that they can absorb a little bit of a downturn and then figure their stuff out. Absolutely. And it's not like they rolled this out on mass. So I I'm not no. panicking yet. But I uh, I don't personally think that YouTube needs more ads than they currently have. Uh, the ones that drive me, I don't mind the one skippable one, even if it's like a longer cooldown. But when when I have to interact with it multiple times, like when I get two two um, 
Is it two skip one unskippable? No, one unskippable is better than two skippable. I don't know. Whatever I don't have to interact with, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Because I can just, I can kind of just blank out and have no idea what I just looked at, which is, I guess, a, a, a life skill. Uh, but if I have to interact with it, then it is a, it's a hassle for me. I do wonder if they track like uh, ads blocked somehow. Oh, I'm sure they do. It's like, I wonder if this I'm experiment sure could show an increase in that, if that makes sense. Uh, probably like I, I would think, I would think that would prompt some more people. And I don't, I don't just mean volume because yes, obviously you're serving more as the volume's going to go up. I mean, percentage of users, which is what you were saying, but I'm just making sure people understood. Yeah, it's tough because it really depends on how the user's blocking, whether they're using pie hole, whether they're using a browser extension. I, I suspect they have the tools to. It's Google. They can probably figure it out. Yeah. To figure it out one way or another, but there'd be, there'd be some noise in that signal. 